Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play um, Okami HD. In the last episode, we uh, made it here to the sunken ship, which we are now going through in hopes of finding a treasure called the Fox Rods to help Queen Himiko protect Seon City. We've mostly managed to drain the ship of water and then fill it. Oh, hey, you're back. I didn't realize you came back. I thought you were a one-time scare. Yeah. She just follows you. She's basically a jump scare. Not a particularly nasty jump scare, but a jump scare. So as the, it is night and the place has... Um, can I just please jump? Jump? I can do this. I know I can. Jump. There! Uh, yeah, double jumps. Requiring timing, not, not the best thing for me. So, uh, now we can actually come back in here. Um, this thing cannot move. It's just... completely... Other way. Other way. Come on. No. There we go. I am... I hate... I hate these things. I'm not very good at them, but I do want to do this. Alright. Get... Would you... Right. Alright. You basically need to stay on the... This half, and it will... Uh, yeah, and ow, ow, ow. Just roll this thing over it. Good. And then you can either, well, you can roll this thing over it. You're going to get up onto it, doofus? There we go. Just try not to fall onto it. And by destroying it, you I, I assume you release it basically from that awful half-life it's in, and you get a fair amount of praise. So now we get to go back through this corridor, which used to be, yeah, I was right, the doors respawn. So there's no point in opening that lowest one. And that's how you get up, by the way. So, put a... Okay, I've got to go back a little more. All right, let's try this then. There we go. Yeah. And we can use that water spout to get out of here if we wanted. I'm not- I'm going to use it for practice. Uh, let's see, hold on. Just making sure, you know, I wasn't, uh, muted. <laughs> I've done that too many times. Alright. Okay. Just practicing, you know how I am. Right. So now we come this way. Watch out! We got another jump scare coming up after we get through this door. Cause look who it is! You and unfortunately these jerks Yeah, hi Crimson Helm. Ugh, get off me. Alright. Really? Something I should have mentioned in the last one, but didn't. Okay, that is, that's what we came here for. We're leaving that alone for the moment. You obtained a lacquerware set, yes. Good. Oh, who 
Let you up. Good. Get off me. And we got a stray bead. Freaking mimic. Can you die? I would like you to die. But no, I don't think they can... I don't think they can die, I think. Yeah, and we obtained the lucky mallet. What is this? Finally, something interesting. Hey, I thought that stray bead was interesting. Wait, this is a lucky mallet. Is this what you were looking for, babe? It can shrink people down until they become so small that they can pass through the eye of a needle. Certainly a tool with such powers is a great treasure, but it doesn't provide an answer to Queen Himiko's prayers for peace. Hmm, someone else mentioned an eye of a needle lately. Oh yeah, there's that half-baked prophet Waka back at Seon City. Remember, he said something like, even the most solid defense has a tiny gaff like the eye of a needle. I wonder what kind of place he was talking about. Amaterasu, it seems what I was looking for isn't on this ship. Unfortunately, we must leave without it. Ah, cheer up, babe. The ocean's a big place. You'll find what you want somewhere. That may be so, but going into the ocean now is suicide. Well, as long as the water dragon is still about, that is. Sheesh, nobody can shut up about that thing. You'd think the water dragon ruled Riyashima Coast or something. Well, don't forget we have Boss Ami here with us. Let's go think things over back in the city. I'm sick of this ship. So, yeah, okay. I just... I couldn't remember if we basically got... Yeah. If you leave... When you leave the room, it will take you out of the ship. And you want to make sure you got that stray bead before you leave. Not that you can't come back. You can come back, but... There's a lot of stuff to do before you do it. Uh-oh. Hmm? C can't you swim any faster, Amaterasu? Huh? I mean, what do you expect, babe? Uh, Ami's a wolf, not a speedboat. Yeah, it's, uh, she's kind of restricted to dog paddling. Oh, I get it, babe. You want to go to the bathroom, right? Oh, God. <laughs> we don't mind. And there's nothing but wide open sea all around. Nobody's looking. Go ahead. That's what everyone does. She's still on Ami's back, Isun. You don't understand. The swelling of the waves is a sign that it's coming. Oop. We'll be helpless if we're attacked here. Here we go again. Isun... Maybe there's a reason. If it is that water dragon, was it? If it is, we'll take care of the beast in a jiffy. It'll regret the day it messed with us. Probably. Eep. Well, what the? Where'd that thing come from? Did you really need us, bro? Is that the water dragon? Yes, it is. Look out! Okay. Um, let's just, you know, basically haul your ass. And try and get to shore. Oh, shit. Let's not die. Thank you. Good. Okay, that is the Dojo Island, by the way. So, like I said, uh, you're pr honestly the odds of the water dragon getting you are pretty low, assuming you just don't dick around. Don't dick around. There's no point. It doesn't come this close to shore. You're much more likely to drown, and then that would be a pain. So, yeah. Alright. Phew. What the heck was that monster, Ami? Nobody told me something like that was on the loose around here. E soon. And what's with that busty babe? She just took off without us? Boy, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind the next time we meet. Hmm? This mallet just jumped out by itself. Whoa. I hate to see treasure run off like that. After it, Ami! So yeah, this thing is basically set up like the canine tracker. 
uh, let's see, um, taking a moment, still 108, <laughs> 108, um, that's, for the same reason that, uh, Orochi is said to have, the bell on Orochi's back is said to toll 108 times, it's a Shinto, um, I think. Um, it's a, it's an important number in Shinto. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, yeah, the city is interesting, and there's that thing. But, yeah, the, the mallet here is basically like the canine tracker. All right, we've got 14 minutes. So just follow that treasure. Um, actually... Oh, I'm, I'm not... We're not quitting. But I'm going to save here just... Yes. I, I'm just saving to be, you know, safe. As always. Yep, everybody's still miserable. Two corpses, everything's fine. I love the movie Clue. It was just... I, I love that movie. It's just funny as hell. I'm too old. I'm too young. A little too young. I didn't see it in theaters. I first saw it on home video, you know, back when we still had VHS tapes. Um, so I saw all three endings, plus the real ending. Without, um, having to, you know. Oh, hello, busty babe. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Amaterasu. Hey, babe, what are you doing here? And how come you didn't tell us about that monster? Uh, I'm sure I mentioned something about the water dragon, didn't I? <laughs> eh, whatever. Anyway, you better not be trying to trick us. What are you talking about? I was nearly eaten alive too, you know. <clears throat> but however did you get away? You're a rather slow swimmer. What did you just say? Take that back. I think it's kind of sensitive about her flaws. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. The fox rods. If they are not on that ship, then where on earth are they? If they're lost in the sea, the vast realm of the water dragon, there's no way we'll ever find them. Ah, cheer up. I'd hate to see you and your two friends cry. <sighs> uh, about Rao. She is based on a figure from Japanese folklore named Yao Bikuni, uh, who was a girl who unknowingly ate mermaid meat. And uh, that makes you immortal if it doesn't turn you into a horrible monster, which there is in Rumiko Takahashi has the mermaid scar, which is all about that. Um, Yaobikuni lived, she wound up living 800 years. She outlived her husband and everyone she loved and became a nun, finally returned to her home and pretty much died just by giving up her will to live. Yeah. <laughs> Now we got you cornered, you, you, mallet. No treasures ever escape from the greedy soon. I'm gonna sell you to some greedy merchant and, hmm? Hey, wait, check it out, Ami. Isn't this the palace where that swirling mist is coming from? You made us chase you here for a reason, mallet? Wait, I think I get it. The lucky mallet can shrink people, right? You wanna shrink Ami here. Then you want us to go into that creepy looking hole, don't ya? I don't know. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? Still, it might be worth checking out, Ami. I mean, this palace has got to be the source of that mist. If Queen Himiko's not going to do anything about this mess, then it's up to us to find out the truth. Anyway, we haven't found a single brush dark technique in this darn city. How could we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Mallet, we'll enter the hole. Now come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered, Ami? Ready to get hammered? <laughs> I love that. If you leave and come back, it will just say shrink. So, bring it. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Furball's all yours, Mallet. Hammer away. The Lucky Mallet is from the story of Yusun Boshi. It is a treasure he finds. In some versions of it, he uses it to become a full-sized person. And marries the daughter of the mer of a merchant or a princess, it depends. Um, in one version, he and his wife get into an argument and start shrinking each other with the lucky mallet until they pretty much disappear. So that's a thing. 
<laughs> you should see the look on your face. A few shakes of a lucky mallet reduces things to my size. It's not for clobbering people or anything, silly. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing with your head. Isn't he cute? Huh? What's gotten into you? You forgot what I looked like already? Dude, you're so small, it's not like we can see you. You listen here, Furball. You better remember me this time or else. I'm Isun, the wandering artist. You got it? Yeah, we see that Isun's sword work, not all talk. <laughs> Times a thousand. Besides, I'm so dashingly handsome. Who else could it be? He is actually pretty cute. Bet you see me in a new light now. No, it's still the same green one. Also, hey, I'm talking to you! Ah, forget it. Let's check out the palace. We gotta find out what's behind that swirling mist. You may be no bigger than a dust bunny now, but I bet you still got a lot of fight in ya. Absolutely. He doesn't have an antenna. I don't think those are those. I'm pretty sure those aren't his. Those are the helmets. Well, time's a wasting. But there's something you need to know first. I mean, this is like a brand new world to you. I'm here to help you when you really need it. For example, see that chest all wrapped in chains over there? If you can guide me over to it with your celestial brush, I'll pop on over and snatch whatever's inside. Come on, let's try it out right here. Oh, right. Can't move. Gotta just do it. So yeah, a lot like with Rao, we can throw Isun at things. Uh, I don't want to get any funny ideas. Don't go launching me at monsters. I mean, I might just lose it if you did that. You'd have to clean up my bloody aftermath. Okay, now everything's clear. Get going. Yeah. Eep. Whoa, that was close. Better watch out, Ami. Remember, you're no bigger than a dust bunny now. Better watch it or we'll end up on the bottom of someone's shoe. <laughs> now you know what I have to deal with. Anyway, this mist is getting thicker, isn't it? I knew there was something fishy about this palace. Yup. And we could save it here. Uh, man. Let's see. I've got six minutes. That's early. Nice. Um, you know, I think... Yeah, given the way this place is laid out, I actually think this is probably... Uh, I'll come back and save at that before we head on. See that, Ami? That's what they call a blocking spider. Those nasty buggers just won't let you by sometimes. They normally leave you alone, but they can be unpredictable. Just watch their moves. Better safe than sorry. Whoa, why'd you hitch a ride? Tired of walking or something? Well, big, here guy, big guy here doesn't seem to mind, so knock yourself out. Yeah, um, that'll be important soon enough. Hey, what's that? Sounds like someone's crying. Yep. Isn't that a jail cell? Someone's in there. But I can't tell who she is. She's got her back turned. They usually try not to be ugly when they turn around anyway. Or, you know, or Birdo. Plus, we don't... Or Kamek, actually, it was in the... Plus, we don't want to attract any attention if she raises a fuss. Forget about her. Let's keep going. Okay. Well, you know, I just... If you fall into this stuff, it's instant one, uh, you take injury and you lose your godhead. Which is part of why they give you a godly charm. Make sure you use, and we get a traveler's charm too, yeah. Make sure to use your air dash that, that I didn't and it was not good. Okay, these are enemies that are only found here. Um, I think we can kill this guy. Yeah, this is a lightning doom mirror. And I believe... Whoa! Get out of the way. No, wait. Okay. Fairly sure... Nope, I could have sworn uh, their... I'll have to look up their um, floral finisher. I was pretty sure it was uh, wind, but apparently not. Or if it is, I just screwed it up. That's possible, too. 
The blocking spiders leave uh, dead bugs everywhere. Okay, not too much we can do here, but if we come this way... Yep. We can... That was... It worked. And we get an exorcism slip ass. That's pretty nice. That one is mostly to tell you what to look for. Because... Let's see. Can I get a, can I get a look around this place? Stay close to the walls, because otherwise... You, um... You'll be unhappy. Okay. Come here. Stay close to the wall. We want to be roughly here. Alright. We want to get in there, so, um... Oh, ow! Did I actually get hit? Okay. Wait till he le jumps. Okay, actually he won't. Uh, there we go. There we go. Um, before we get this key, which we're gonna need to go back the other way, we want to blow up this wall. And get a golden peach! Out of curiosity, where are we on those? Just because I like looking. We have six golden peaches. That means basically we can be, you know, we can loot. We have seven lives right now. We could, we can be reduced to zero hit points seven times and still, well, no. Well, yeah, I think seven times and still win the game. Either six or seven at fence post error, or eight, it's a fence post error. I, all right, got to go back this way. We have the key. Okay, we do. All right. Yeah, I, I kept falling into that particular pit. Hello? Is somebody there? Hmm? Are you mallet bearers? It's hard to see from here. Mallet bearers? What the heck are you talking about? Oh, who are you? Oh, uh, just a couple of passerby. Are you that girl we heard crying before? Sounded kind of fake, if you ask me. You're not some no-good monster trying to trick us, are you? What? Oh, no, at least I don't think so. I came to Seon City to sell some of my grandfather's bamboo ware. But the emperor who lives in this palace had me arrested. Your grandfather's bamboo wear? Is your grandpa that Mr. Bamboo back in Kusa Village? You know my grandfather? He raised me back in Kusa Village. My name is Kaguya. Moonlight Beauty Kaguya. Ah, huh, she's a blonde. Don't see too many of these, those in this game. But I'm afraid that's about all I can tell you. I don't know why I've been imprisoned here. I don't even know who I really am or where I originally came from. Uh, another babe. <laughs> How could Mr. Bamboo have such a cute granddaughter? Well, you just sit tight, honey pie. We'll get you out. The great Isun's gonna straighten out that mean old emperor. Then I'll come back and set you free. No, I, um... Don't sweat it, sweetie. You just sit tight. We're gonna search every nook and cranny of this palace. And I'm gonna give that emperor a piece of my mind when he, when we find him. So don't you worry your pretty little head, okay? My partner may not look like much now, but Furball here is actually the great Amaterasu. Now just sit back and relax. We got it covered. Let's go, Ami. Okay, good. We've still got that. Um, quick check to be sure which way we're going because the, um, yeah, the camera is not always kind. Good, good. Also, I think if you fall in the water, you have to go back for the key, but I wouldn't swear to it. So, we're going to unlock this door. Let's see, 27 after. I, I want to see what's in here. Okay, yeah, there's a lot more dungeon. 
So, this is also a one-time dungeon, so, uh, yeah, okay, there should be a mirror. Here's the mirror, good. We're gonna call it here. This is a one-time dungeon, so no sun fragments, no stray beads. So, I'm gonna call it here. We're gonna save it. Yes, so right save data. So thank you guys for joining me for Okami HD, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.